Brooklyn Teddy podcast. Wait, who's Brooklyn Teddy? Oh yeah, he's just a Brooklyn guy with a wife, a kid, tattoos, and a podcast. Trying to figure it out and enjoy life. Welcome to the Brooklyn Teddy podcast. To provide a better experience, we're saying tourism. We want the people that come here to say that was... Okay, not sure what happened there. We will, of course, let you know as soon as we find out what those sounds were from. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Brooklyn Teddy Podcast. And this is Brooklyn Teddy Podcast number 52. And it's Wednesday, August 26th uh, here on the East Coast. It's 11.03 a.m. And uh, that was just some crazy audio that uh, I played there for you. This is uh, very current. So this is happening, uh, pretty much happened uh, a few hours ago uh, looks like some uh, while these people were doing the news reporter and uh, news reporter Allison Allison uh, Parker and the uh, cameraman uh, named Adam Ward they were filming this thing in Virgin in Virginia live on television a gunman came up and uh, shot them uh, and and unfortunately they both are are are, are dead now they passed away. And they're in the in the search for this guy somewhere in uh, Virginia on Route uh, Interstate 81. Uh, it's a really really a crazy story, and it just happened. So I don't know. I I felt compelled to talk about that. Pulling down the videos, all the things. I mean, I guess I could see how uh, that would be you know sad and heartbroken for the people, who, the loved ones, and everything. But yeah, they're they're pulling them down. So I don't know. I was able to get that audio there and put it up there. Yes, a crazy story out of Virginia. Uh, it happened uh, this morning at 6.45 on August 26th. Uh, Allison Parker and uh, Bert, Bert, no, um, Adam Ward, sorry, Bert Ward, but somebody else. Uh, yeah, doing a thing about tourism and this kind of stuff in Virginia and how they're fixing the community up and some some dude came up and shot them. We don't know exactly. There's a rumor that it might be a disgruntled employee. Why would shoot these two guys? But, uh, that's another story. So yeah, sad story, crazy story right there before your, uh, steaming eyes on live television at six 45 this morning. Uh, it was a uh, channel 12 in Virginia. Yeah. It's a, it's a sad story, but anyway, I just, I just caught that and I was like, wow, this is crazy, 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 crazy stuff going on. And, uh, yeah, I want to thank everybody for listening to the Brooklyn Teddy Podcast. And, you know, uh, keep your your eyes and ears peeled at all time. You never know what could happen. Uh, but, hey, have no fear. Brooklyn Teddy is here. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I don't know. I was banging around the, the Internet today. And, oh, I have to take a, a breath here. I have a free day to myself. Uh, I don't know. You loyal listeners out there know that uh, – Part of what sparked the Brooklyn Teddy podcast was the need to um, have someone to, you know, someone full time take care of my son. Of course, we want him to go to school and all that stuff and interact with other kids. And, but, you know, it just became a, a, a whole situation. But anyway, I, I have talked about that on previous podcasts. And even though I love my son with all my heart, that guy can be a pain in the ass. <laughs> non stop, non stop t- uh, testing the boundaries, testing the boundaries. Oh, at four years old. So, you know, I guess parents out there know what the, what I'm talking about. Holy smokes. But anyway, he's uh, off today uh, at, uh, day, um, I guess, summer school, daycare, or whatever, so I can have some time to do my podcast here and have a few moments to myself. Wow. But that guy, I love him all my life. I'll tell you, that guy could be a real asshole. <laughs> Starts out the day yesterday. Daddy, I love you. Crawls on my lap, this and that. I turn my face. He spits in my face. Like, what are you doing, man? And it's just a test. It's just to see what you will do. So he was uh, reprimanded. I, I mean, I don't hit my child. I guess that's a bygone era. I used to get my ass kicked, handed to me <laughs> on a daily basis. Not so much my dad, but good old mom. Really knew how to swing a belt. <laughs> But anyway, here I am, ladies and gentlemen, recording this for you, uploading it, getting it ready. And uh, yeah, so started around with the news, this and that. And then the, the, the first news, of course, this, you know, this is what hits me. And of course, it's like a featured, featured uh, thing on the It's like, oh, uh, this might be of interest to you. <laughs> 
So, yeah. Uh, so, teacher messing around with students. Now, all right. So, yes, listen, listen, listen. There's very la- m- many layers to this kind of stuff. Okay? You know, uh, and it changes. Perspective change, at least for for guys. I don't know how it is for, for, for women. But, okay, so this... this uh, fairly attractive teacher her name is fatima grupico fatima grupico uh 24 years old and uh looks like she took you know fairly attractive she had this whole page on pinterest called teaching selfies uh (laughs) so i guess every day that she was a teacher she took a little selfie in her outfit and you know, making the faces and looking kind of cute and all that nonsense. And she's a history teacher uh, at Cardinal McCarrick High School in South Amboy, New Jersey. So 24 and uh, yeah, so it's high school. So she's pretty much not that far away from leaving high school herself. And guess what? She starts screwing around with a 17-year-old. 24, 17. I guess it's a titillating, titillating story. <laughs> but yeah, busted, whatever. And the, the, this, so this is, this is the, the weird stipulation in this story is because uh, uh, being legal, legal age for shenanigans, you know, you know what I mean? Uh, is 16 years old. Uh, but the reason she's in trouble because she had a position of power. A high, you know, high school history teacher. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's just crazy. I, I, and I remember a lot of my teachers. I really didn't have too many hot teachers. <laughs> oh, hot for teacher. Cue up the Van Halen. Isn't there like a whole song? You're like, what's going on there? I don't know. Just a lot of weirdness. I don't know. This, this, the, it happened. This is happening constantly. Like I see, and it's that weird, like twenty-something teacher with seventeen-year-old kid. I'm, I don't know. Strange, I guess, sad, and uh, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I had one teacher, and I was in junior high school. And well, high school is another story. At junior high, I don't know. Uh, hormones are kicking in. At eighth grade, I was uh, still very awkward. But guess what, ladies and gentlemen, I had a hard dick. Holy shit! I couldn't. You couldn't stop it from just shooting up every like. You like what is going on? Buying. <laughs> And this is, I guess, uh, I guess I'll op- I'll open the door a little bit. Um, so I, I I wish I could remember the teacher's name. I don't know, but she was. Uh, this was in uh, eighth grade. Was this eighth? Yeah, was this eighth grade? Yeah, eighth grade or seventh grade? No, actually seventh grade. So twelve th- going to thirteen. And they had a guitar class. Like you could learn guitar. Perfect. Right up my alley. Rockstar. I'm playing guitar. Wow. They have a guitar class. Wow. Finally, school pays off. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we were learning our stuff there. And she was a, you know, she was an okay looking lady. And just there's a lot of, there was a lot. There was, there was all boys. There was no females in that class except for that teacher and a lot of raging hormones. And I could see, you know, like. Some of the boys would start bringing little treats to the teacher and this and that. And she was nice. She would never really, she never put it this. She, I don't, I never saw her making any advances, but she really wouldn't be, she never, I don't think she reported anybody. I saw a little, you know, this and that. And one little, my little incident with her is like, I was sitting in her chair and, um, at the beginning of the class and being a, being a class clown jerk and whatever, making jokes and sitting down, you know, and there was, a, there was a certain crew. There was different crews in this little class. There was one like this little bit of an older crew. I guess it was shared by different uh, grade levels. This teach, And they were kind of, I don't know. They were really, they, they thought they were some, some kind of hot guitar players, but I don't know, not that great. Anyway. So then there was another crew who just like fuck ups and like wanted to play rock and roll. And then there were just kids who were just like, Oh, whatever. I'm, I want to play guitar. Like, I don't know, whatever. So the, the, the older kids weren't there. It was like a bunch of the younger kids. And I remember one kid brought like a Snickers bar to give her or something. And she was really ha ha. And uh, the boys were very flirty and she was flirting back. And I was sitting in her chair and my dick was so fucking hard. Uh, and just jokingly, uh, I took her hand and just pulled her down and just had her like sit on my lap. Oh, my God. 
Ah, oh, being a teenager, the youth is uh, wasted on on the young. <laughs> And yeah, it was just like a, it was like a second or two, but oh my God, I think I, uh, 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 believed myself. I was so turgid <laughs> and she, she, she sat there for a second and just kind of giggled and laughed. And I knew she felt that I was, um, interested and she just jumped up and laughed and, uh, she said, oh, come on, stop fooling around guys. And <laughs> Ah, we went back to our seats, and that was it. It was just like a little a moment, but oh my god! I, like, look, I'm, I'm an old motherfucker. I'm still remembering that shit. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I hear all these stories. I, I don't know. The, the, I guess the self control is uh, on the side of the adult, but uh, I don't know. Twenty four seventeen. I mean, that's I don't know. But anyway, if you're a teacher uh, and you're in your twenties and you're in the high school area of teaching and you're um kind of hot uh you know there's i know there's gonna be a lot of flirtation i know it i know these dudes are sweaty they're they're aching their balls are just dropping all over the place i don't know but anyway beware out there and um hopefully everything will get straightened out with this whole situation here and uh and the, and the reason this thing hits the hits the news and hits it the way it is and it's like on almost everything is fatima is attractive and she's only 24 and then this is a story and I don't know. It was it was just it was just one of one of the many many interesting stories on the internet. Yes, yes. Ha ha ha. And I threw in a little Brooklyn Teddy story there. But that was in Florida. That didn't happen in Brooklyn. So that was a Florida Teddy story. Ha ha. Yeah, I don't know. The Florida the Florida school situation was very strange for me. But uh yeah, so I'll I'll talk more about that in another podcast and I've already yammered about that uh instance there so yeah you're perusing the news checking out seeing what's going on you know in the world uh and yes so that uh the other story that i run this is another crazy here's a crazy ass story in honduras check this out man check this out so it looks like this 16 year old girl pregnant six year old girl who gets married she's married uh and she's married 16 year old married um young girl in honduras looks like she suffers from some some kind of some kind of epilepsy or some kind of seizure when she goes into panic attacks she her, her heart stops like this is the craziest story i've ever heard and uh it looked like something was going on she was foaming at the mouth and i don't know maybe the this part of honduras uh I don't know. They didn't rely on a, on a doctor right away, but they they called their priest, and their priest came over, and I think he tried to do an exorcism. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! So he tries to do uh, 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 an exorcism, and her name is the girl's name is Nessie Perez, N E Y S I Perez. Uh, so this this has definitely hit the 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 the, the, the Latino market. Primer Impacto. That that news program is it's not even, that's the craziest tabloidy thing. So I don't know, uh, <laughs> but there's a crazy story. So her heart stops. A doctor pronounces her dead. They pronounce her dead. Listen to this. So they pronounce. I don't know. She's pregnant. I don't know. Her heart stopped. I don't. There's no real story about this. I have to further investigate this. But uh, her heart stops, pronounced dead. She gets buried. They bury her. No autopsy, nothing. Heart stopped. They put her in a wedding dress, stick her in a mausoleum. Luckily, they didn't throw her under the ground. I guess maybe this is below sea level. So uh, a, lot of, a lot of graves are, are, are they're not dug into the ground when it's below sea level, like in New Orleans. All the, all, all the dead bodies are, uh, most of them, if not all, are in mausoleums above ground. So anyway... Uh, they're hearing like uh, screaming and banging and what they put the lady she's in the box and then and and they and they they freak out and they take her out. It looks like she had like she was alive, freaking out in the in a thing and had another panic attack, and then she seemed dead again, and they put her back in. <laughs> they opened up the casket. What? Yes, they opened up the casket. Um, and the poor girl uh, looks like she uh, had been struggling 
to get out. There was bruises and everything on her hands. Looks like she was trying to get out there. Yeah, they buried her alive and uh, looks like she probably suffocated in that coffin. Um, and then they, uh, the medics tried to revive without success. Despite the best efforts, the teenager was again declared dead. That's a crazy fucking story. <laughs> Holy shit. So, I don't know, they said that uh, it, it could have been some kind of weird uh, panic attack that stopped her heart. Or another hypothesis is that the teenager had a cataplexy attack. An abrupt temporary loss of voluntary muscle function, typically triggered by a strong emotional stimulus, such as stress or fear. So, she, I don't know, this is their guess. They've, and then she freaked out on something. They thought she was dead. They buried her. She comes back to life. She can't get out of the coffin, and she dies. What? What did you say? <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, yes, boys and girls. Thank you for listening to Brooklyn Teddy uh, Podcast. Uh, I want to thank everybody uh, for hitting me up on the Twitter. And uh, Metal, uh, metal that's Metal Health 13. That's a different podcast. That's the Heavy Metal Health. And I put one up earlier the week in this week. So I hope you're uh, all listening and, uh, you know, checking it out. If you know, any, 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 any help, any kind of uh, ideas, if you're into the paleo diet, uh, if you're into... Swinging kettlebells and heavy metal. This is that's the podcast for you. This is uh, uh, the Brooklyn Teddy podcast, and you can hit me up at Brooklyn Teddy thirteen on Twitter. You know, a little back and forth, a little silliest. This is the most sillier one. You know, I, I do a little more fun. Um, the the other one, the heavy metal health podcast, which comes out every other Monday, is more about uh, fitness, my struggles. Uh, stuff that I found on the internet as far as exercises, paleolithic or primal food, uh, stuff like that. I've done a couple of reviews and stuff. So, yeah, so if you uh, subscribe to the Brooklyn Teddy podcast feed, you will, yes, luxuriate also in the heavy metal health podcast. So getting back to this. So the breaking news, like I said, this is a very, very weird story. We started the podcast. So this happened that. 6.46 or 6.45, these poor uh, two reporters got shot. They're dead. It turns out that uh, right now uh, it, 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 they're saying that uh, it was a, a former employee named Bryce Williams. Uh, uh, yeah, disgruntled former TV station employee killed two colleagues on live air. And then he actually, it looks like he shot footage of it too and posted it on his Twitter and Facebook. Yo. This is crazy. Social media murder. Wow, wow. This is this is really nuts. So this is all breaking right now. I just refreshed the browser. Uh, Eleven forty three. So yeah. So you, um, the podcast and the news reel are going neck to neck there. So you can download this, catch up. Tell me, you can see that this is the Brooklyn Teddy News Podcast. Uh, so we're doing all the newscasting here and checking all that stuff out. So this is happening right now. And yeah, it looks like this guy, Bryce Williams, uh, uh, another another news reader um, uh, there at uh, WDB, whatever, something J7 in Virginia. It looks like he is the dude. Now, this is a very, very sick, strange story. Uh, so yeah, the shooting happened at Bridgewater Plaza in Monete, Moneta, Moneta, Virginia, when Parker was doing a story on local tourism and interviewing the head of the Smith Mountain Lake Chamber of Commerce. At least eight shots rang out and Ward fell. His camera appeared to catch a chilling glimpse of the killer. Yep, it's right there. In dark clothes and a purple vest, holding a handgun in his right hand. So then it goes back, and that's the audio that I played uh, at the beginning of the podcast there. We know who the suspect is. We'll leave it's a, it's a disgruntled. Yeah, so this guy posted it. Wow, that, that's really his uh, Twitter and Facebook have been taken down. Um, so yeah, very, very, very strange as this new story unfolds right here, right before our very eyes, here at the Brooklyn Teddy Podcast headquarters. And yes, 
Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I want to, I want to thank you again. Make sure to go to brooklyntelly.com. I post a lot of stuff that I talk, links and stuff like that there. This is how you help out the, the podcast. You go to brooklyntelly.com. You can read, peruse, hang out, do all that kind of stuff. You know, I, I have ads up there. You can donate to the podcast. There's uh, Amazon links. You can actually, if you're going to shop at Amazon, why not go to brooklynteddy.com, stop by, say, hey, Teddy, what's up? And go, you can do some shopping there. You know, if I direct traffic to Amazon, they kick something back. I can, uh, you know, keep the, keep the both oars in the water, so to speak. You know what I mean? At the Brooklyn Teddy Podcast. Yes, 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 yes. Well, welcome back to the Brooklyn Teddy Podcast. Yes, August 26th. So this is the last podcast for this month, August. Yes, August, uh, my birthday month. And um, a couple of podcasts back, it was all about my birthday and uh, being 50 and getting tattooed and uh, Motley Cruz and Alice Cooper's and I don't know, all kinds of stuff there. And I wanted to give a shout out because I don't know, I, I, there's so many people that, uh, that I know that have birthdays, uh, in August. Um, uh, Bob in early part of August, family member there. Happy birthday, Bob. If I didn't get a chance to say it, I don't remember if I did. <laughs> but then, uh, clustered around, uh, this time, right around this time, uh, there's my, uh, my nephew LJ's birthday just passed by. Um, what is he? The twenty fifth of August, I think, or my suck because I'm I'm your uncle. And I can't remember your birthday. Uh, my brother Lou, which was on the twenty fourth, there. Happy birthday! Uh, and uh, number one fan Lisa. Today is her birthday. Uh, yeah, so they had a lot of birthdays. Oh, my friend Dean was just the other day too. He was also the twenty twenty uh, fifth. So yeah, a lot of birthdays here in August. Um, it's uh, the, it's always a, a bittersweet for my birthday because every time my birthday comes, it's pretty much the end of summer. You'll get, we'll probably still get some more hot blasts, but uh, yeah, you know uh, the 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 leaves are not turning yet. But at all the retail stores, they're already pulling out all the fall and Halloween and all that stuff. So yeah, August, oh, August, I love you, August, but. Uh, all things must come to an end until next August. <laughs> well, happy birthday, everybody. Thank you for listening to the Brooklyn Teddy podcast. Uh, this is a weird, interesting uh, one with uh, breaking news with that reporter and the cameraman, unfortunately, being uh, being killed on, on live television. But anyway, um, and not to bum anyone out, but yeah. So And then there was this one more little weird thing here at the end, I think. Like I said, his name was Bryce Wills, and he was also known uh, as Vester Lee Flanagan II. The, uh, I think, uh, uh, well, so far, I guess, still alleged uh, gunman and disgruntled, uh, disgruntled employee there. Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, a strange podcast, a fun podcast. Uh, my heart goes out to the, the, the family and friends of those folks out there, and... Uh, until next time, remember the Brooklyn Teddy Podcast, brooklynteddy.com, and I love you all. Bye-bye. <laughs>